Warriors NRL Fanatics, welcome back to the YouTube channel. And uh, look, we're coming to the back end of the season now. We're 20 rounds in, and you know what? My uh, thought now goes to who I believe, in, in my opinion, deserves to win the New Zealand Warriors Player of the Year. And, you know, let's get into it. The title pretty much gives it away. Wade Egan deserves the New Zealand Warriors Player of the Year Award. Now, the reason why I believe this is, one, Wade Egan, he has been our most consistent player. His running game has improved. He's right up there in terms of defense as well. And I reckon he's come a long way this season. And, look, there's been a lot of question marks on Wade Egan. There's a lot of people who have different opinions on him. You know, for me, I, I believe that even last year, I never had a bad thing to say about Wade Egan. You know, I, I think looking at it from a different point of perspective is that he has definitely showed a lot more in his game this season. You know, he stepped it up massively. Now, watching back his watching back highlights, full replays, you know, I don't think he's had a bad game at all. Not even one bad game. You know, there may be a game in particular where you see him only get, what, 50, 60 metres a game, or 56 to 70 metres. But look, I look at that, and I'm not too concerned. Now, that might sound ridiculous and stupid, but we're looking at it from a, from a different point of view. The Warriors just don't have that platform. We don't have that platform this season. Wade Egan, you can't expect Wade Egan to run 60, 70, 80 metres, 100 metres a game because there aren't any other players that are helping him out. So I, I just look at it from that point of view. You know, people look at... Damien Cook, Harry Grant, Brandon Smith. People say, why Wade Egan has, isn't got a running game like him? Well, I think Wade Egan's showing this season and in his, in his performances why he has improved on that sort of area of the game. Now, I want to quickly look into the stats here, actually. And these are what he, what he's done this year. And, and we're, what, we're five games until the end of the season. So he's second for most tackles for the Warriors with 588. He's appeared for 16 games, four tries, try assist to three, try line break assist to three, um, offloads three, um, 93 tackle percent efficiency, uh, 49 average running meters, and a total of a running meters of 784. 784 running meters. And, and people want to say that Wade Egan doesn't run the ball a lot. Well, this season, that's completely false by that statement he runs the ball plenty of times so look you know Jazz Tavanga, Marcelo Montoya, Dylan Watini's Lesnick uh, probably can put their hands up in this category as the player of the year award as well as contenders but what I believe what I've watched I say waiting and by far is our consistent player this season and I think he by far deserves to win this award in what my opinion so that's what I believe look you guys might disagree with me. That's fine. But that's what I personally would go with. Wade Egan. He should win the New Zealand Warriors Player of the Year. And, and, and that's what this title has been branded. So, yeah. Look, uh, look. share your thoughts down in the comments below. I want to hear who you believe deserves the Player of the Year award. Should it be Wade Egan? Should it be someone else for the Warriors? Just let me know what you think down in the comments section below. If you disagree or agree with what I've said here. And, uh... And if you're new to the channel, don't forget as well, and you're watching these videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That is the most important thing to do when you watch my content because it really shows your support for the videos that I do. And it's absolutely free as well, and, and it really does show that you like what I produce. But uh, yeah, as well, don't forget to like the video as well. Thumbs up on the video, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one.